Yes! Today, folks, we're at Danny Hart's Descent Bike Park and we're going to check out some of the trails. The first feature we're going to have a look at is this little berm gap behind me. Check out this line. We're like a little corner jump out into this double, which is all which jumped over the main DH line. Don't want to case that. So we're going to go and take a look into a trail called Black Magic, which is when meant to be one of the more technical trails here. Straight into a little berm gap. Just having a little chat with the trail builders and they've seen you've got this section here which is like a double drop but then when you see the likes of Danny and other really quick guys they just jump the whole thing in one land down in the corner I mean that's just insane double drop Double there, should have committed to it. Going to the lower section, three circles, that means it's pretty gnarly. Take it this way. Ooh. There you go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Some bits, you just have to let off the brakes. I love those kind of trails that have you, have you on your toes the whole way. Got to yes. be on the game. Loving this. The varied terrain all the way through. And also I love the way you can pick Good multiple again. lines through like every section. Uh, oh. yeah, a bit of a steep rocky shoot. A bit, a bit mossy. Woo! Here we go. Drop! Woo! Yes! Big line. That's the first, first bit of punishment the Marins really had, to be honest. It's taken a few hits, but it's not taken that kind of abuse. And she was just dancing. Felt great. And that's, so that's just where we've come down. You can see this drop here. It's quite big, actually. I didn't expect it to be that big. So it's actually Danny's parents that run this place and um, they've got a couple of trail builders that are here regularly keeping the place in tune. They're keeping on top of all the maintenance and building new stuff here. When they took the trails on they sort of re-sculpted the top section and then added these bottom sections in as well. So this bike park is at Hampstead Forest which is right at the north of the UK and it's a uh, I'd say it's like a medium sized bike park with a good two minute descent. Nice. Don't quite know what's over there. They've got enough trails, they reckon, where you can kind of ride something different each lap. The top, so it's split into two sections, top section. There's three or four main lines. Nice table there. The rock garden. <laughs> and then it comes into a fire road and that's where you've got sort of 10 to 15 routes down and you can pick and choose, mix it up and it brings you all the way down to this river crossing. Main BH. He's rocky. Turkey. Oh wow. So we've come on to main DH and straight away it splits off into these three lines. This section here and it's just like pick your own line. Super technical, all of them. That's why it's graded a difficult trail. So look at all these rock gullies you can choose from. So 
So it's a different story when you look from here. So I think with a line like this, you've just got to kind of straighten up, let off the brakes, let the bike do its thing, keep looking ahead and let her all hang out. So at the bike park, it's full face only folks. And you can see why now. Ooh. Here we go. There's a drop. Yes. This is really fun. At the final drop, there it is from this side. I was chatting to the guys down at the, the guys that are building the trails, and they say that every trail, apart from the forecast track, is hand built, and a lot of the runs have chicken lines on them. So you can see this section here, this is coming into the bottom section, steep corner there, to these sort of rock slabs. And then you've got to turn on a dime and then you're off this drop here. You can see just looking back up there how steep the terrain is. It's no wonder Danny's up here practicing. It's the perfect place to get comfortable on the steep rock. So they do do uplifts here. It's around 25 to 35 quid for the uplift and you can get upwards of 15 runs in a day. During the week, it's open to punters and you pay, I think it's 10 quid to come and ride and you've got to push up or e-bike up the hill. I it's a fair old size. You're gonna be carrying some speed, double out of the corner, chucking you into the big stuff. I feel quite comfortable sending them just because the trail looks like it has the flow so if you get one feature then you've got the speed for the next so it kind of gives you that, that bit of confidence. Woo! Some, uh, some pretty big features on this forecross. It's all made out of that really compacted stone so it's not gonna rot away. But um, I'm not really not feeling it right now. Um, I'm on my own, it's at the end of the day so I'm gonna have to throw in the towel. But you guys can see the level of this forecross. There is, um, there's smaller lines to every bigger line but still it's, uh, there's quite a lot of commitment needed. So this is uh, day five of my great northern trip. Tomorrow I'm over at Revolution Bike Park. Yesterday I was at the York North Moors. So uh, if you guys want to check out some more trails, I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description. See you over in the next video.